Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to explain you about the different tips and tricks to draw the table and to handle the table. In order to draw the table, just go to insert and click on the table. Here I can see that here I can directly select the number of rows and number of the column. The horizontal one is the number of columns and the vertical one is the number of rows. Now I will draw the four four columns and three rows this is the one method of drawing the table or inserting the table the another method by using the shortcut key that is the plus indicates the column and the dash indicates the row this is also used to draw the table once i type this just press enter this also draws the table the one more method to insert the table is go to insert and table here I can draw the table with the help of this pen here I can insert the number of columns as many as want here I can draw the rows this is one more method of inserting the table now let's enter some data in this table now if I want to increase this number of rows just press just go to the last cell and press the tab in this way I can increase the number of rows now if I want to enter the row between this third row and the fourth row in order to enter the row just go to the end of the row and press enter this inserts the new row between these row 3 and row 4 similarly if I want to shift this row that is row 4 to row 1 just select alt shift and press up arrow this shifts the, the selected row similarly if I want to shift this row to downside just press alt shift and press down arrow this shifts the row wherever you want if I want to merge the cell just select the cell and use the shortcut key one after another that is alt a and m this merges the selected cell similarly if i want to split the cell just right click on it and go to split cell here i can select the number of rows and number of columns i am selecting the number of rows as a one and number of column as a three and click on ok this also splits the selected cell here I can see that if I want to separate these last three rows then use the shortcut key that is alt shift and press down arrow this separates the table similarly if I want to add again this table to the previous one again select alt shift and press up arrow in this way we can separate and add the table if I want to separate this table completely then go to the location from where you want to separate the table and press ctrl and enter here we can see that this table is separated here we can see that this table is separated similarly again if i want to separate the table from this row just press ctrl and enter here i can see that this table is separated now if I want to delete the row, just select the row, just select the row, right click and click on delete cell, click on delete entire row. Similarly, if I want to delete the column, just select the column, right click on it and go to delete column, this deletes the entire column. Now we will see the different option to fit this table. In order to fit this, this table, just right click on it. here go to auto fit here i have three options that is auto fit to content auto fit to window auto fit to column width if i click auto fit to content this table will fit according to its content just click on it here i can see that this table is fit according to the content similarly right click on it go to auto fit if i click auto fit to window that fits into the entire window just right click again select it right click on it go to auto fit to column width that fits into the column size now i will show you how to change the text direction 
In order to change the text direction, just select the required row or required column. Right click on it. Here I can see that the text direction. Just click on it. Here I can select the text direction. Choose the whatever you want and select click on OK. In this way, these are all the important tricks and tips to handle the table.